Hello friends. So till now we have seen a uh, different communication pattern uh, like uh, OPC UA Ethernet IP. But Codices provide also a different option uh, in which we can uh, take the data or make our uh, application as a data source and take the data from the different remote applications. So let's check it out how we can configure this and how we can leverage this particular feature to read write or to develop the HMIs. So in order to get this feature into the application, uh, we need to follow the basic steps. So like click on the application, uh, go to the add object and then add data source manager. So when we click on it, it will allow us to add. So what exactly do is the data source manager object can be used to attach other data source into the current PLC. So all the third party communication or getting the data from another codices application, it is very useful feature. You don't have to do OPC client uh, programming and all those things. You can directly fetch the data here using uh, data source manager. So we need to add object to create a data source. So here it will show two options, codices application v3 and OPC US server. So let's start with uh, OPC US server. So we can add any OPC US server into uh, the data source part. So when, when we click on add, so it will take some time to uh, load the uh, data source manager for the OPC US server windows. Here we need to provide the server URI. So server URI means uh, from which server we want to connect. Okay, so we will give uh, the URI link. So opc.tcp and the IP with the port number. And we can also set the security pattern how it has to be. And then click on the next. Once we click on the next, it will fetch all the details from that particular server. Okay, and and show the details uh, of uh, that particular server. So we can see here that we are able to fetch the device set, the the program de application details, and then we can go till the variables. Okay, so as we see in any OPC client, correct. So we can select the whole device set, and then we can click on the finish so it will add uh, this whole uh, data source into the application so if you see once it get added the data source we can see it on the right hand side uh, the local variable access right everything has been there and apart from that if you see it also has created a data source structure so one folder will get created so data source objects uh, folder is there which when we can expand we can see the whole structure inside this so a UDT will be created for all the different set of node ID and everything okay so this is the whole uh, structure part and uh, and the data if you click on the data source variable type so global variable which is there also on the data source you we can see that uh, we have the device set so this is a global variable which is which has got created now the, from using this particular global variable we can access all the node id of the other the, another source from where we are connected and we can utilize that in our program so let me show you how we can utilize that. So we have to provide the name of the variable. So which was device set. Now after that it will come, everything will come and start automatically coming. The structure will start showing uh, only after putting the dots, correct. So resources, again application. So all the structure, how it has been done global or program variable 
so we will go to program then inside program we have the plc program and then the variables so let me uh, do it for one variable and let's uh, save it and download the code so we can see uh, right now the whole structure you are able to see so let me download the code okay so it is downloaded now so let's put it to the run mode and now we can see that right now the value is 0 and it got updated to 16 so why it got updated to 16 because uh, the source from where it is reading this data must have the value as 16 so let's go and check on the uh, uh, source from where we are getting this data or even we can change it from here and we can see on another so let's first go to the another project which is running on the raspberry pi so let's check uh, the value of n1 which is 16 right now correct so the same data is getting updated So now let's go to another project and if we change the value from here the same value should get reflected there correct. So let's change the value. So control F7, here 10. Now let's go to another application. And we can see the value got updated here. So see, this is the easiest way to do the communication between two application or when some sometime we have like we have multiple PLC and they want to connect. So we can utilize this particular feature. And if uh, they are of the same make, like uh, Vago PLC, if you're using multiple, so and it is running on the Codesys runtime, then it, it will be very easy to even do the communication between those PLCs. So there is another option also, correct? So uh, directly utilizing Codesys uh, uh, v3. So that also we we can check. So that. Uh, so let me show you how we can actually uh, do with another option which is Codesys uh, v3 part. So we need to again add a new data source. Uh, so let's go to data source manager, right click, add object, another data source and select Codesys application v3 and click on the add. So here it will ask for the different options whether you want to do in the current project uh, with current project or some other, other project we have. So in that manner we can select uh, what is our need. So for example I will select other, the, uh, other project because this is my Windows x64 platform and I will be connecting with uh, the Raspberry Pi. So we need to choose the file for the other project which we, I want to use so we have the option there now, so this is for variables so let's cancel it uh, okay on the top choose file correct so we have the browse option so we can go there and click and select the uh, project files so this viju dot viju prg project uh, which is uh, running in the raspberry i'll choose that so once i selected then all the details will come here so as we can see see here so 
so use device address from device okay and uh, so once we have clicked so it will take some time to load all the the items of that particular project so it is taking some time because it is loading the whole project okay so let's see how exactly it's it comes up so if you see here the whole structure it has found and then in that manner it is giving us the data so plc dot in one so we don't need any other thing so it will initialize the data source and then we can have it as a read write option So once this data source get added, we can check out the data source object also. So it will have all the items uh, which are needed to compare these two data sources. Yeah, so that is uh, the pretty much uh, two options which we can utilize to do the communication with any third party system or even within the code system uh, which are running on the code system runtime, the PLCs. We can utilize this feature to communicate with between each other and provide the data also to the DCS. So here you can see that all the structures are created one more time. And yes. So the event is also getting locked. So yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. That's all for this video. Uh, see you in the next one.